Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are in the Rock Full of Brains, a collection of asteroids out in the very wilds of space where we have a collection of duplicates, about 12 of them now, a whole dozen. You know what? I hadn't even realized we had creeped up so far, trying to make their way into the future as comfortably as possible. Last time we were trying to make that comfortable um, happen by making sure that the magma could continue flow into here so we could feed our hatches down here. I don't believe the starvation report, so we'll come back to that in a second for why. We'll be making the uh, the, the magma flow down, and we're going to continue letting Rutherford dig up and over the top here so we can start letting this magma flow. Uh, but that's just going to be happening in the background. We don't have to worry about that too much. We managed to seal off of this little water situation here. It was starting to break its way, bust its way up through the igneous tiles, uh, displacing all of the chlorine that we had as the cleaning liquid, uh, cleaning gas here for our polluted water. But that's no good. What we're actually dealing with today is Irigao, our latest. Uh, asteroid that we are trying to take over here. Two duplicates trying to make their way forward, but it's not the most comfortable place to be doing so. One of the things that we've got problems with is actually food. You know what? That this might actually be a problem. Spitzer, you going to be all right, my friend? We'll, we'll figure that out in a little bit. I think, actually, the microbe musher is uh, currently set. It's It's got food in it. We just need to turn it over, which is Hubble's job. When the morning comes, that will get they will get on with that quite nicely. Another thing I've noticed that I've actually set up some orders here to dig uh, abyssalite with farm tiles, and unfortunately, Spitzer is the only one who can who can build. Hubble cannot build. Spitzer can build, but Spitzer cannot break abyssalite. Hubble can only break abyssalite. So I need to set the dig orders first. In fact, I'm going to make them super high priority because Hubble's going to try and go around and do some other stuff here. In fact, we we want him to do the other stuff first. Wait, there is a con conflict of priorities here. Hubble, come, just come and make the food. That's that's all we need you to do. Just just come and make the food so that Split Spitzer doesn't starve. My focus for today is to be trying to mix these two water systems together. We've got a cool slush geyser for throwing out fairly cold water at the top and we've got a, uh, a hot hot salt geyser down, salt water geyser, sorry, down below here. Hopefully we can mix both of the waters together, get something relatively temperate out. This is not my long-term plan. My long-term plan is to actually build a reactor out of all these materials at the bottom here. Look, we've got some uh, solid nuclear waste has formed up down below. Okay, well, I want to make a reactor and then drop all the water onto the reactor. Call in the reactor down, but this will definitely boil the water. Uh, and then extract the water out of there, cool it down with all the power that the uh, uranium reactor, the nuclear reactor, is providing for us. But before we can get to that, I, I really need to make these guys' lives just a little bit more comfortable. And we're going to start by expanding our farming setup here. There's a bunch of millwood down below that just are uh, just not doing so well. Uh, so we're going to move them out of this slightly warm, slightly carbon dioxide infused area uh, and take them up to a a much more temperate, nicer area to be in. The more I play on this asteroid, the more I feel like we're going to be having power running up and down the side here. We'll be having most of this section um, <laughs> sectioned off, shall we say, by the water. So I think we're going to end up living in this space in the middle here. There'll be uh, living quarters at the top and maybe a poke shell ranch down below. Uh, so all of this will get moved over there eventually. Of course, we just need a little temporary base set up before we start building the proper sized base for for all of our duplicates to come live in. Oh dear, oh dear. Hubble's going to bed with a full bladder and the outhouse hasn't been cleaned. Oh, this is this is going to be bad. Do you reckon I can actually... Uh, let's let's get that rolling, guys. Yeah, it's, no, 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 no. We, we, we need it actually to be fully being cleaned out. If someone just starts that job, great. You can turn red off, red alert back off. And as long as the yellow alert or top priority is being called, they'll, they'll carry on. And as it is Hubble who's going to make the problems in the morning if I don't do that, I'm going to let him not sleep. Uh, this could cause us some other troubles, in particular stress-based troubles, but I, I think we'll be okay. I, I say that. I, I ain't so sure. Let's, let's see how this evening goes. <laughs> 
Okay, morning has rolled round. The job has just been finished as the autosave clicks in. I've really got to turn down the frequency of the autosave. It's happening every every save now. Uh, but the real question I've got is, Hubble, my man, are you going to use the toilet? Like, you were complaining about your full bladder, and now you're just like, nah, I'm, I'm good. What are you even... Why, where are you even going? Oh, you're refilling the toilet. I understand now. Can, can you use the toilet now? Especially now that daytime has been cooled. The stress is going up. That full bladder, it turns out, is quite the uh, impact on quite an impact on duplicate morale duplicate stress hopefully yeah the mo moment we dealt with a full bladder okay that's that's good that's good so it turns out we need a duplicate here who can one go around and tidy up all the mess on the floor because these guys just don't seem capable of doing so but more importantly a duplicate who can go around and deal with all the uh, the life support and tidy needs of the colony when we when we actually get round to expanding all of this area out, why is it telling me I've still got an alarm going? This says there's an alarm. I don't see any alarm. Let's go back and see. No, no, bug. Do 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 we have a bug? Is it this somehow? Is that somehow? Even though all the jobs were done. Okay, fair enough. We'll we'll take that. <laughs> Okay, thankfully at the point where we're moving the millwood seeds from down below to up into some farmland, which, you know, that's, that's like infinitely better for us. Talking of infinitely better, I would like to take this moment right here and thank the people who make my life infinitely better. That's right. My patrons. Scroll it up the screen right now. You will see a list of names. A list of names of guys and girls who've gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to this channel to make sure that me and it can carry on into the future as comfortably as possible and indeed in an infinite way. So thank you. Thank you so much, my friends. So I've been watching these guys for a couple of days now and there are definitely a couple of things we could do that... that quite easily help them speed up their jobs. Uh, first off, let's try and get some light on the situation here. I might even go for both of them, but we're going to try just this one first. <laughs> Hopefully the light falling down here is good enough to speed Hubble up. Let's uh, connect the wire. Uh, you know, I'm just going to go straight down there. It's not it's not ideal, but we will do it as anyway. Uh, the other thing is I'm going to have a look at this payload opener. We haven't got any there. Do we have any glass around at the moment? We've got some steel. We've got some steel. Does this contain glass? This is got some glass we could probably start work on our solar farm up here we could like bust our way through the fact that the uh, neutronium comes out this far means that we will have to bring our heavy watt wire line down this way we won't be able to jump it through anywhere i mean we could probably even bring it down here and then down this major thing but i would prefer to have our power spline as close to the edge as possible uh, which means we need to move all of this as i've been saying for a little while now anyway and you know what i want to do as well i just i just we need we need to get this lot done and we need to get that lot done like right now and if we click here, copy some settings and drag this all the way across, that's the farm upgrade complete. Uh, it's not its not a huge upgrade, but it's a good start. Uh, I'd also like, oh, they're getting straight on it, to be able to get this light put into place. So that, that's pretty cool as well. Uh, whilst I was watching these two, like, like you know, some creepy weirdo, uh, we've been slowly but surely building all of these lines down here. I just want to get this this wall done here if I can and then oh, I should probably drop some uh, some ladders down here actually uh, and then we might be ready to send Hubble up to dig all of this out I think I think we could just dig it out now anyway and take the risk I, th I think I'm willing to accept that risk oh no oh no we, we are missing uh, we're missing a bit of course how about we uh, make those priority okay at some point this is gonna let all of this hydrogen loose and it's quite hot hydrogen but I think we can survive with it we're definitely gonna have more water than we've got storage space for mate maybe we're gonna end up opening up a larger tank maybe Use this liquid pump? Yeah, ma maybe. Lots of maybes. I mean, we could maybe get in there and dig out all of this area around the bleach stone and the granite. The bleach stone would be nice. I wonder whether this uh, interacts and kills germs. That that would also be nice. Getting in, building this wall and emptying that out would also be great. But we just got a few things to deal with on the way there. I think I think the next thing I'm going to deal with. Oh, we don't have anything else for lice loaf at the moment. I was about to turn off the uh, the mush farm, but uh, actually we might need it. 
All right, we got we've got a little bit of extra food on the go. I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get this glass open. I don't know whether that'll be enough actually. Yeah, 200. That'll be exactly enough. Scolding. What's going on over here? Plank. Why why are you scolding over this way? I know it's hot, but I didn't think it would be scolding hot. I I I think it's the molten slicksters. I really think it's the molten slicksters. I guess. This radiant pipe isn't quite keeping them cool enough and letting them die nice and early. That, that sounds like a problem for another day, though. Uh, we, we didn't quite get enough breath to open up that package. Uh, we'll, we'll just leave it running, though. We'll just leave it running. Hubble can catch his breath, go back up there, open it up again. Oh, Spitz, Spitz is on their way. Maybe, maybe they'll get it instead. I mean, Spitz is quite slow. I, I'm, I'm expecting them to just, like, bug out halfway through and be like, no, 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 no. I, I tried, but I've got no breath left. Well, there's only a little bit left. Spitzer, you can do it. Brilliant, brilliant. That's what I like to see. Also, picking up some sedimentary rock on the way. That, That's some forward planning right there. Look, oh, look at this. We can just pop that right like so. Uh, let's let's put that up a high priority, and I'm sure we'll see Spitzer on this, uh, yeah, next, it turns out. Okay, so the light is definitely working for the generator. I don't think that was ever under contention, though, really. The uh, light bulb is much closer. It's whether it gets the uh, the workspace behind the overlay uh, over here. Oh, look, you can just see it's uh, double shining bright there. Is that all from this one shine bug? Hmm, I wonder if we could trap it in here somehow. Or other places where duplicates work. We, we definitely should be keeping more shine bugs around work areas. One of the good things about Spitzer going out to the surface to uh, to do all the work. Oh, it, she's going to do something else now, but uh, we were letting hydrogen out a little bit at a time uh, and starting to empty out some of the vast stores of hydrogen we have caught in these little bubbles. I suppose it would be more efficient just to actually uh, bottle it up and put it in the hydrogen generator, uh, but uh, that sounds like it will be more effort than the power we'd get back for it is worth. And working at the workspace, lit workspace. Okay, brilliant. I like it. That that that's great. Is that truly? Yeah, it truly is from the light. The uh, the shine bug is all the way over here. That that's great. We we now have an optimal setup here. Shame we're not making the optimal food though. I feel like Spitzer's work would be most best put to uh, put getting the solar panel up and running. It's not a huge amount of power, but it would free Hubble up from this incessant running on the treadmill that's always happening. So if we could get that underway and be a priority, rather than the pouring of the water. But I, I really do want to get the pouring of the water done, but we, we, we definitely need to get much more uh, wire put through here. Okay, until we can go ahead and re re replace all of this stuff with dedicated power lines. We're just going to run it down the middle for the moment. It's terrible decor, but I think my duplicants will survive until we can move everything over to this side. I'm also connecting the two power systems together. This could end up with us losing all power for the electrolyzer, but this battery almost always stays super full, uh, and this one doesn't. So let's connect them together and see if they can uh, cover each other's back whilst we wait for the solar panel power to be put in place. Where's Spitzer going now? Ah, down to here. Where another thing that I want to do is uh, start dealing with the carbon dioxide that is building up down here. And I think the best way to do with, deal with it is, of course, with the pit. Pips? Where's all the pips? There, there must be pips around somewhere. I bet they've all died to poke shells. But anyway, what I'm going to do is uproot all of the oxy ferns and dump their seeds down here where the millwood used to be and hope that there are still some pips around that can come and deal with the pip. Pips, hello? Okay, maybe I should have guarded my pips a little better. There is a spare over here somewhere. Hello, how are you doing? You are precious. You are very, very precious. How do we, how do we like breed them? Thimble reed or arbor tree? Okay. 
Okay, it's starting to get a little bit hot in here. Too hot for the millwood, it turns out. So I'm going to come along to my dig orders here and go, hey, at the highest priority, do you reckon you can come along and take that out for me, please, Hubble? Uh, whilst the alarm is blaring, we are going to quickly have a chat about the way Spitzer is coming along and doing these builds here. I'm actually going to turn the priority of that much higher up now. Uh, we've managed to open up a little area here. It's vacuum at the moment because, of course, the uh, hydrogen is trying to flow up but can't because there is uh, space there. Uh, eventually, we're going to build this heavy, heavy watt joint plate, hopefully next. And that will then seal this area off. It will uh, completely vacuum itself out. And then we can replace this top one over here without having a way for all of my gases to get lost. Uh, that said, though, I do kind of want to just mo let most of this hydrogen go out the top. But if you, if you ever need to, uh, to make a little insulated box like this, th this is totally the way to do it. Okay, Hubble is uncovering the cool salt slush geyser. I just had to have a couple of goes of trying to pronounce that, and I think we're doing okay. It's uh, currently dormant. Oh, I was I was going to let the cold out, and there is no cold because it's dormant. Uh, well, if we have a look at its actual stats, though, you can see that it does drop brine at minus 10 degrees. That's different to the salt water. Uh, but I think we can deal with the uh, the two different liquids being picked up. The desalinator does indeed deal with brine or salt water. I wonder what my hit rate is on going to see a geyser and it being dormant. I, I feel like it's close to 100%. I really do. I, <laughs> I think maybe the cobalt and the uh, aluminium. No, no, even they went dormant like almost immediately. I, th I think it's just a curse I've got. <laughs> I do kind of like this though, the way that the pressure will build up here, it means that the minus 10 degree brine will take precedent over the uh, the hot water here. So we're mostly going to have a cold box. I'm almost tempted to, not at the moment because obviously it's quite hot, but put a more conductive material here to just help cool our base down later on. Yeah, I mean like look, look at all these cool, cool, cool colours up here, that's nice. Okay, I've been putting it off because I didn't really want to decide on the center of the base yet. But uh, with the decisions that everything's going to come over here, but also with this, all of this stuff over this side, I think I'm going to pop the mini pod down here, and it will be like in the top left of our base. I, I think I think that will work. At some point, someone will come along and build all of that. And now that we've got a, a fairly serious farm set up, I mean I say serious, but look, we've got food on the vine and we've got food on the floor, so we should be able to support another duplicate and I think I I think I want someone who can cook cook tidy clean fix stuff yeah one of these people I wish there was a way and if anybody knows a way to do this to um, put a priority between these jobs like I would like lice loaf to be made over mush bars like every every time every time uh, but I, I don't know how to how to set that as a thing Maybe I'd actually need two microbe mushers, one for each particular job. I mean, maybe, maybe. That's, that sounds like a lot of work. Like, oh, this is only going to be made out of sedimentary rock. No, no, no. Let's, let's go for obsidian instead. We clear that. We uh, make a copy. Obsidian. Yeah, we've got, we've got to have good materials, right? I've also noticed that I've made the mistake of not clearing this area out first okay i mean is the bigger flex rather than obsidian to build it out of fossil because uh, nobody uses obsidian but a fossil that's that's a resource right there if you're building stuff out of fossil you, you, you're doing well in life right okay so for this mini pod to work we need to activate it i don't know who's going to come along oh, wow oh, well there are uh, some pretty low priorities there let, let, let's see if that uh, can i can i change the priority it turns out i can ch change the priority i'm surprised that it's such a low pro like sh surely it's something that should take the highest of priorities i mean I i'm gonna give it the highest of priorities but i'm surprised it didn't come in not on an alarm but on a theoretical priority 10 if you will you know it's uh, something something coming in at higher than everything else is this gonna take a little bit of a while it's got got a little like wind up mechanism to uh, to go through there push it down let it toggle back up give it a kick and then hopefully throw the lever all right beautiful that's that's what we're after and let's have a look have we got anyone here uh no we we don't <laughs> okay we're, we're just going to ignore that until we next um close the game down and come back to it <laughs> it might actually be quicker if i just take one of the other blueprints omelets 
omelettes will be fine. And then three cycles later, we'll, we'll have another go at a supply cook tidy person. So we've hit a somewhat awkward state of affairs. To finish off this heavy watt wire, and also to get like power transformers in place and a whole bunch of stuff to complete this job that I'm trying to do here, we're gonna need several hundred kilograms of aluminium ore. Unfortunately, on this entire asteroid, we only have 250 kilograms. Most of it over here in this hole. There is a tiny bit down the bottom here. Uh, it says 742. How do we get down there? There's a lot of it just down there. But to try and fix this problem, what I'm going to do is I've set up a targeting beacon to try and bring these shells just a little bit closer where my duplicates can reach. And over on Paxlin, I have sent one of the rockets off. Indeed, if we have a look at the star map, we are going over to this swampy ore field to try and mine out as much of this cobalt ore as we can. And then if I come over to the conveyor loader, we should actually now have cobalt ore on the uh, the list of items to send so as we get enough rad bolts to start sending uh, i mean mostly it's food at the moment but all of these materials are across we should start getting some more materials to be building with all right farming tiding that's not quite the supplying that i wanted but i think we'll take it chandra is that right let me just double check that i've got the spelling right Chandra is short for a very long name that I'm never going to be able to pronounce, so let's get Wikipedia. Subramanian Chandra Seker. That one. <laughs> so we're going we're to take Chandra. Welcome on board. X-ray telescope and uh, Indian mathematician, I believe. Theoretical physicist. There's a very fine line between theoretical physicists and... Uh, and uh, mathematicians hopefully we can now uh, so far farmer and tidier so let, let's come along and uh, put some skills into place first off farming definitely a thing that we need you to do but more importantly we have the priorities as well this one's going to take a little bit of thinking let's 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 give it some thought okay so we take hubble off of the farming we're going to put chandra on the farming there should be a tidying over here we're going to make that uh mostly important not quite as important as the farming but the, that is very very important and life support of course okay well, what is Hubble doing that we don't the cooking's good we could do with a uh, with a chef as well that is there's definitely someone else we could do with but I think that's fine for now let's uh, let's see how this plays out hopefully we've got enough food hopefully we're not we're not pushing it too too soon I also know we've got people without hats on. Okay, so Spitzer, you got rocket piling or uh, rocket piloting already. Uh, improved construction is the one for you, and improved farming for Chandra. Well, Spitzer sure has found themselves in a bad place. Three poke shells trying to beat them up. Oh no! Run, 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 run! Go, 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 go! Uh, ended up fleeing all the way down here to try and escape them. That that was that was not great. Where where are you actually going? Recovering breath. That's that's not going to work out well for you, my friend. Friend. It's not gonna work out well. Okay, they seem not to be bothered. It's because there's an egg on the floor here. The the eggs get them all angry for some reason. Oh no, this this is what's been going on. We've been trying to build our wall up here. Spitzer, you might need to wait. Do we have a do we have an infirmary here? There, there we go. We found something we're missing. Okay, hopefully that will get built at some point. This is quite a low priority over here, so let's uh, let's just bump that up to seven, and then he can uh, make it make his own hospital. But I think with that, we're going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. We did indeed get the pathway for the cold water all set up. Unfortunately, the, my curse of geysers came into play and it, it's dormant. There's nothing we can do about that, but the uh, the infrastructure has been set up. I might want to actually replace this door with a more solid one like this manual airlock over here. Stop the flood coming back through. We got four water... Sorry, food stabilized. Water is also stabilized, so that's pretty good. We could probably take a little bit of a line off of here and make a little sink over this side at some point. We got ourselves Chandra waiting for Compton, and of course, the resource gathering is happening over here, slowly filling up the rocket with uh, well, cobalt polluted mud and mud, but th those two we're going to process down. The cobalt we're going to send on, but we've got all of this diamond left in here, and I will see you guys next time when we're going to move all of the stuff from over here we're going to make ourselves a nice safety base over here make ourselves maybe a rodriguez over this side but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye